Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I'm going to share with you is a great Levier wireless microphone set two pack. So this is by a company called VJZFA and it is the DX06 set. Here's the box that it arrives in. Once you open it up, you're going to get a ton of stuff. So first off, you are going to get a little user manual that explains all the details. We're going to cover a lot of it in the video. You're going to get this little pouch to put the case in. I never really use this, but it does come with that. You're also going to get this carrying case. Now I do utilize this. Um, which is nice because you can put in the unit, which is this nice little brick here. It goes right there in the center. And then you have this little mesh pouch, which you can put in all the accessories that you also get. And it's got a nice zip and a little holder, so it's easy to bring with you when you are traveling. Now, you are, because it is a two-pack, you are going to get these two little wind socks. Uh, this is just going to clip onto the um, mics themselves. And then it kind of helps with the wind if you are outdoors. You are going to get two like little sound check um, headphones here with the USB-C plug-in. If you want to utilize these, you get two of them. Now you are going to get multiple ways. So that's one of the things I like about this little mic set. It will connect via the Android phones. It will connect via the Apple phones and you can connect via DSLR cameras. So depending on your setup, they have a connection for you. So First up, you are going to get a USB to USB type uh, C connection, so you can utilize that. You can utilize the USB type C to C, so this is perfect for Android um, because you can go from the C to the receiver to your phone. Then you are also going to get a uh, type C connection to Lightning, so if you have an Apple iPhone, you can utilize this to connect via the phone. And then obviously you got the connection uh, for a camera. The black part is uh, goes to the camera, which they have this little tag here to let you know that. And then this one will go to the device and it's got a little kind of flexible stretch cord. So depending on your setup, you are good to go. Now, here is the device itself. So on the back side is where you can plug it in to charge it up because this case will power up uh, when you're not utilizing it. You're gonna get about 24 hours, including the case, if you are needing to charge these up. However, the um, actual transmitters will last for about eight hours of continuous use. So you can last plenty of time. I typically always charge them after each use. And then the receiver is going to last about six hours. So really you're going to have six hours of um, actual recording footage because obviously if the receiver goes down, then your transmitters go down. But you have this nice little case, pops open, and they're all nicely stored. So you have your two transmitters on the side and then the receiver in the middle. Now these things are built in with a noise canceling, which is just a really nice feature. Um, right there you can see it has the microphone on the bottom side is where it charges in the contact. They obviously have a little clip here, so you can easily clip them to your shirt um, if you're doing interviews or anything like that. So it's nice and um, clear when it's picking up that microphone. Now as far as the windsock, you're just going to kind of snap that in place over the microphone um, and it'll hold it nice there so that way it will help block the wind if you so desire to do that. Um, now these things do have built-in noise canceling. So it has that option if you want to turn that on, uh, help drown out some of that background uh, sound that you may have. Uh, they also do the original soundtrack, so it will just record normally. It also does reverb if that's something that you want to do. It has that. Now as far as range, from the little guy here to the transmitter, or the transmitter to the receiver, it's gonna have about a 300 foot range, unobstructed, so obviously you put walls in there and kind of electronics, it starts to reduce that, but that's a pretty long distance. Now, if, I don't know a situation you use this, but if you want to go the other direction with the other transmitter, you can get all the way up to 600 feet, um, as long as that person's in the middle. But like I said, basically that's just saying it has a long range, so for most likely whatever you need, uh, you're going to be set up if you're going to move away from your camera, if you will. Now, it does record in stereo, which is what I typically record. So let me give you an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, so now you can hear the audio is nice, crisp, and clear, which makes it perfect for doing things like doing videos, doing podcasts, recording lectures, pretty much any type of use where you would need to use a wireless microphone setup. 
So now that you've heard what it sounds like, you get an idea of how crisp and clear it is. It also does record in mono if you prefer to do that, and it also has safety tracks if that's an important feature to you. Um, just make sure when you set these things up for the first time, there is going to be some yellow tape over the little contact. So make sure you remove that, um, otherwise you're not going to be charging. You're going to be like, why is my stuff not working? It's because there's a little piece of yellow tape. It's kind of hard to see at first, so just make sure you do remove that um, when you are setting it up for the first time. Uh, as far as the receiver itself, so you have the little buttons at the top as far as controlling through the center. It does have a nice little color screen. Um, it does show you the microphone setup, so that way you get an idea of where your volume levels are, which is obviously important. It shows you at the top whether it's on Bluetooth, how it's connecting. Um, so it gives you lots of little features and uh, visual cues on the receiver, which is great if you have somebody behind the camera. Uh, on the side is where you will plug it in if you're connecting it to a DSL, and then there is where you will use the USB Type-C if you're connecting it to an Android or an iPhone. Um, and then on the other side, you have the little power button if you need to manually turn it off. And then on the back side is the context. Obviously, this also has a little clip, so if you want to clip it to... Um, something you can do that if you so desire. But overall, they're very, very versatile options. Uh, they also show on the transmitters, you got the mic lit up, you got the battery icons, um, Bluetooth. So it shows you everything you need to utilize. So if you are looking for some great Levier Mark um, mics, I think these is a set that's totally worth checking out. I love the fact that it's very versatile, that you can use it on a DSL camera, you can use it with an iPhone, you can use it with an Android phone. So depending on your setup and depending on what you're recording on, because I use a lot of different things to record with, minus the Apple stuff, um, they got a cable for you. So you can utilize, you don't have to have multiple products. This can do it all, which is a nice little feature. So like I said, if you are in the market for a Levier Mark, I think these are totally worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about. Feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.